Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Java puzzles, let us go with one more new puzzle in this video. Here we have taken this Java puzzle 16 class with main method inside. And we have taken an integer array with values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And we have taken a variable sum initialized with a value 0. And we have taken a for loop for i equal to 0, i less than or equal to n dot length n dot length will give the size of your array in our example it is 5 and i plus plus then we are taking one one value of array that is sum equal to sum plus n of i we are taking this n of i and adding to the sum then finally we are printing the sum value as sum here now let us see the options for this a option is compile time error b option sum is 150 C option sum equal to 50 and D option is exception. Now, so if you take these values, if you add these values 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50, so the sum is 150. So we think that the answer is sum as 150. Now, let us understand the correct output of this program. Here we have taken an array, we are having an array. with values this is connected to array n and the indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 and the values in this array is 10 20 30 40 and 50 now here initial value of sum is what 0 first i is 40 at 0 0 less than or equal to n dot length. What is the value of n dot length here? 5 here. So the size of your array is 5. So n dot length is 5. So 0 less than or equal to 5. Condition is true. Sum equal to sum plus n of 0. The value of sum will become no. We are having the sum variable. The value of sum will become no. 10. 10 will be added to sum here. 0 plus 10, 10. Again, the loop repeat. Since there is no curly brace, it takes only first statement. Then now the control goes to i plus plus. I will become no 1. The value of i is what now? 1 here. i is now initially 0. i is now pointing to what? 1 now. The value of i is 1. 1 less than or equal to 5? Yes. Then sum equal to sum plus n of i. So 20 will be added to previous sum 10. Now the value of sum will become 30, 10 plus 20, 30. Then again, i plus plus, i will become no 2. The value of i is no 2 now. 2 less than or equal to 10, sorry, 2 less than or equal to 5, yes. Again, sum equal to sum plus n of i. Then 30 will get added to sum. So 30 plus 30, the value is 60. Again, i plus plus, now value of i is no 3. 3 less than or equal to 5 is sum equal to sum plus n of i. Then that 40 will be added to 60. Now the sum is 60 plus 40, 100. Again, i plus plus, the value of i is now 4. i is now 4. 4 less than or equal to 5 is. Then again, sum equal to sum plus n of i. That 50 will get added to previous sum 100. Now the value of sum will be 150. Again, i plus plus, i will become now 5. The what is the value of i now? 5. 5 less than or equal to 5. 5 less than or equal to 5. The condition is true. 5 less than or equal to 5. Condition is true. Comes to this statement. Sum equal to sum plus n of 5. What is n of 5? In this array, do I have an index 5 here? The indexes are from 0 to 4 only. But the index is now 5. Since there is no index i 5 here there is no index 5 here for this array which is out of index for us in case of java if you are accessing an array which is out of index then it goes with what exception so the correct output for this program is it's going to throw an exception d option is the correct output and the exception is array index out of bounds exception the exception in what it is going to throw is array index out of bounds exception so the thing is we need to observe this equal to symbol here equal to symbol so five less than or equal to five condition is true when it comes here n of five the value of i is five 
which is out of index here that's the reason we get the option as array index out of bounds exception right so that's about in this video please subscribe like and share thank you